Welcome you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is Tania and this is Christ Unlocks where we talk about my lock journey, lock tips, and my faith journey with Christ. So today I'm going to be showing you guys insight or giving you guys insight on how I take my lock braids down. Here I'm showing you some BR8 spray spray. I might do a review on this because I did not like it. Okay. I didn't like it, but I generally like to, um, spray my locks before I take them down. Generally, I also like to put oil on my locks to seal in the moisture, but I didn't do it in this video. I like to make sure that the locks are moisturized from the roots all the way down to the tips, especially the tips because that is the furthest from the scalp. And our ends are generally the driest part of our hair here. I'm showing you, I have secured each of the lock braids with a little black rubber band and I'm gently at least I'm trying to gently take down the, uh, take off the rubber band so I don't snag my ends. I know there's some, you know, back and forth on whether or not to use black rubber bands. I haven't had any issues with them. I've been using them for a very long time since the beginning of my journey and I'm set over seven and a half years locked. I would just say this, if you're going to use them, make sure that you are not tying them too tight. Also, you see I'm taking my braids out gently from the bottom all the way up to my roots and i'm getting ready to show you the what i call the root to lock junction which is the part of where the lock shaft meets the roots is a very important part of the lock shaft because it's one of the first indicators on the health of the lock you see here i didn't really like the turnout of this braid out y'all i just i just didn't it wasn't one of my best ones but i just needed something to hold me over until i do my next interlocking and my lock uh, braid outs tend to last about three to four weeks and when it comes down to lock braid outs I just kind of have a love and hate relationships mostly love with them because one they're just super convenient but also after a while whenever I keep my lock braids in I tend to tend to notice that my scalp is like girl take these out okay my scalp tends to go crazy after about a week and a half sometimes I think the longest I've kept them in has been two weeks so it tends to get irritated and agitated and that's when i know i need to go on and take them out or take them down so here i'm kind of just jumping around i usually like to start from the back of my head but here i'm just kind of just pulling random lock braids so when it comes down to it i'm getting ready to show you here this lock braid that I'm taking down had, the, I think I had three locks in each of the braids and two of them were a little bit longer. So I folded the tips up to make sure that it was even when I, when it got down to the bottom when the braid, when I braided it down to the bottom, just because I wanted to attempt to make the braid out look as seamless as possible. <laughs> it didn't work y'all. It did not work. But I think it's important to know that, you know, whenever we have locks, they're not going to be perfect. And you should just accept that about your locks. Um, and it took me a while to, to accept that. As you can see here, it's kind of like off a little bit, but I'm done. I think the overall turnout was okay. I want to show you guys from the bag what my hair looks like. Uh, never mind my Eye Monsters pajama pants. Y'all, I'm chilling at the house. This is Friday evening. Infamous lock shake like I always do. Yeah. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. I just wanted to get something out. My next video will be my three tips for lazy lockers. Check that out. Also join my newsletter, which is linked in the description box. And until the next video, God bless.